It's quite right, I would say, that South African issues take up much of our minds, but not all of it. Sometimes you just don't want issues at all. Might we just say relief? Peter Tosh was a reggae guy of the same vintage as Bob Marley, though he seems to have slipped off the screen while Bob's heyday is still galloping along undimmed. Not that I got anything against Bob. Oh, pirates, yes, they rob by. Hey, that can go on forever. That need never stop, even when the thing that it laments becomes history, like Hope Joanna. And it wasn't roaring, it was weeping. Funny, isn't it, that despised old apartheid gave the 20th century not one, but two of its greatest musical triumphs. But Peter was valuable too. I met Peter Tosh in the 80s per old-time cassette tape with Fast Forward and Rewind. It was a winter Saturday morning and I was going to a meeting that I was young enough and dumb enough to think I had to go to because of career implications and income optimization and so forth. And the tape was called Mother Africa and the last track was Stop That Train. Stop that train, I'm leaving. I don't think I'm going to swap jobs. When I got to the venue, the rewind button had done its duty 20 times and I knew stop that train by heart and I was high on sound. At the gateposts, I turned right around and went away, keeping the rewind busy. Peter Tosh had made me too laid back to worry about places that I had to go to. Never since then have I had to go anywhere. Not, I mean, to show my face. If you and I arrange to meet at the Artisan at 12.30 on Thursday, I'll be there. Peter Tosh comes to mind now for a particular reason. I spent hour upon hour looking for an important document, a testimony to an achievement of days gone by. The document stayed AWOL, but on the way I turned up a 2002 entry of a household newsletter that we call the Fridge Bulletin, stuck on the fridge door. This is before Tim Noakes and Banting recall. But one item in the fridge bulletin was a pose bread, which I'd found on the internet, courtesy of some anonymous benefactor of mankind. This is a demand for serious and urgent action. We must oppose bread now. There is no time to waste. Our species is endangered. Consider the facts, facts that no one can deny. More than 98% of convicted felons are bread users. Fully half of all children who grow up in bread-consuming households score below average on standardized tests. More than 90% of violent crimes are committed within 24 hours of eating bread. Bread has been proven. Bread has been proven addictive. Subjects deprived of bread beg for bread after as little as two days. Surveys reveal that bread is a gateway food item, leading on to harder items such as butter and jam. Bread is baked at a heat that could kill an adult in less than one minute. And worst, worst of all the threats facing us, bread absorbs water which comprises 90% of the human body. At any moment, 90% of us could turn into a whole wheat loaf. We must ban the sale of bread to minors. We must publicly say no to toast, endorsed by at least George Clooney and Beyonce. We must do bumper stickers. And I want to thank Oppose Bread for reorienting me. I chuckled so well that I stopped bothering about my important document. Like Peter Tosh freed me from attending pompous meetings where my real purpose was to be seen being there, Oppose Bread freed me from worrying about documents that supposedly augment my status. I conclude with a question similarly bequeathed by the internet that ended that fridge bulletin. Is it fair that only one company makes the game Monopoly? Oh,